the repeating elements. Now this is something you've got to be very careful of, but using the right circumstances, having repeating content moving through like this works really nicely. So here are a whole lot of locations that are just cycling through. The kind of thing you might have in a, a conference setup maybe, where you've got people walking through an expo hall, you want them to see this. Could be in the background of a title slide as you're waiting for people to get settled in. You know, a few instances where having a constant level of background motion can be useful. This is done using two different tricks combined. If I go to a blank version of this slide, you've got the locations there and you've got all of these different uh, locations in a text box on the right hand side. But you're not just mentioning each of these locations once. If you scroll down, you'll see that all of those locations are duplicated and so you've actually got an oversized text box here that goes across the full length of the slide and then repeats again. Why is that the case? Well, it's because if you were to add an emotion path onto this slide, so select the object, go to the animations tab on the ribbon, choose add animation and choose a motion path. That's gonna move down by default, but again, change this so the effect options go to up, so it's now moving up. What I then want you to do is take this motion path and move it, adjust it such that the text at the bottom overlaps with the text at the top. So you might just be able to make out there the ghosted text, which is showing the bottom of this object. And I want them to match up perfectly just to there. And so what this now does is it gives you a perfect loop opportunity. If you can take this text and you can move it to that looping position there, and then you can repeat it, it'll give the impression of never having moved. It'll just be a constant loop. So to achieve that effect, you select the object, right click on it, and choose effect options from the pop-up menu as before. And then there's the timing tab here. And you can do a repeat using this drop down on the left hand side for as many times as you like. Now, in this instance, I'm gonna do until the end of the slide. Again, be very wary of repeats because in a regular presentation with someone talking, they can be phenomenally distracting, so be very aware of that. But if you change this, let's make it a little bit slower as well so it's not too overwhelming. What should happen now in slideshow mode is that that all moves up. You know what? I'm sorry, I forgot to do the effects of smooth start, smooth end. Let's get rid of those. Now it's gonna move up there and then Bang, it's now repeated. But you don't notice because it instantly goes back to repeating it. And because you lined these things up, it's gonna work out really well. So repeating your animations can be extremely useful. A little trick there to help you achieve very different effects.